what's up, race fans? This is Ryan Sanders coming at you from the conclusion of round two's youth event. I'm here with a freeway co, and I mean Eric Kudla, and he did a great job today. You know, awesome racing conditions, really windy, but the course, no one could complain about anything. It was an amazing track today, and Eric, how does it feel to finally be done? I'm not done. I have to tear down course, and then we're scoring the big race tomorrow. But tomorrow is actually my lazy day. I get to just sit around and kind of just score people. But today it's really good. Um, you know, we had 74 riders, which is the largest turnout that we've had in Southern California, and it's only getting bigger. And these kids are having a blast, and that's all that really matters. In the 50cc race, we had 15 riders take to the track, and actually the winner of this race needed a little bit of help getting the bike started. Here's Eric Kudla with the rundown on the top three. And third, we actually had uh, Court D'Aterne, and he actually stopped and helped the winner, Andrew Schultz, uh, to start his bike again and actually eventually take the win. And uh, in second, we had the reigning champion, Cole Timbo from Blaze Racing. And then in first, like we said, was Andrew Schultz. So that course was about three miles? What was the total distance on that race? That was uh, three miles, and they had about a 35-minute uh, moto. We actually went one lap longer than normal, just the way the time worked out. This is Ben Meza with National Hare and Hound Association. This is Andrew, the Pee Wee winner today. Um, Andrew, is there anyone you'd like to thank for your victory today? Um, my mom and dad, and it was fun, and I liked the track. It was good, and I liked it with the whoops and stuff. It was fun, because there was rocks and hook. And thank you, Court, for helping me start my bike. Awesome. Good job out there today, Andrew. Thanks. Right on. And we carried that course on to the second race, which saw the 65cc and the girls. Um, you know, give us the rundown on that, Eric. You know, who was the overall winner in that race? I think it was a boy this time, right? A 65? Yeah, actually, Eric Burdell took the win. He was uh, he was the one that battled with, uh, with uh, Caitlin Kurtz the whole time during race round one. And... Um, so he was actually able to take the win this time, and he took it by a huge margin. But in uh, third was Carter Klein, and second was Jack Anderson, and then Eric Burdell took the win. Yeah, and I'm kind of excited about the girls' class. Uh, in this race, we had a little bit of mix-up in the, in the finish results, and a girl that most of us district racers have watched for years here in California. Um, you know, the Olivas family, there's three of these little girls. They've been riding forever. They support all of us adults at every race. So it's really exciting to watch them. We actually uh, got to see Taylor leave us take the win today. It was her first ever win. So let's cut over to her and see what she had to say at the finish. I'm here with Taylor on her first ever women's class or girls class win in the National Hare and Hound racing. So tell me, how did your race go? Did you have fun? And is there anyone you'd like to thank? Um, it went pretty good. And I would like to thank my mom and dad that's awesome. Congratulations on your first win. We hope to see a lot more. Taylor Levis actually took the win, followed by Morgan Thonison and Amber Hoffman. Oh, well, uh, Caitlin Kurtz actually had the early lead on the girls' class, but she, she had her motor blow um, halfway into the second lap and then handed over the lead to Taylor Levis for this win. Race number three is the most exciting race of the day here on Saturday at the Heron Hound Series. We extend the course out, we get the bigger bikes and the faster kids, and there's always a photo finish at the end. Uh, Jared Megla, you know, he had a great start, and he was up front for the first two laps. Unfortunately, a flat tire set him back, so his hopes of being up front were, were dashed by a flat tire. He finished sixth on the day, but in the super mini class, you know, there's really some good battles. Uh, Braden Bland is a Blaze Racing rider, and he's really, you know, a rider from Utah, comes out here to California. It's like he's grown up here. He's in total command of the bike. You know, some of these clips I'm going to show you are just amazing how fast he is. So he got a hard-fought win today. He totally deserved it. He had about a two-minute gap over second place. And fill us in on who got second and third, Eric. Uh, second place was another Utah rider, Colton Christensen. Um, and then he was followed by Cody Kurtz, who this was actually his first time on the podium. He's been racing the whole series. He followed it last year, and he finally made it to the podium for, the, for round two. Hi, I'm Ben Meza, and we're here with first place and second place here at round two of the National Heron Hound Series. So, how was the battle? Uh, me and Jarrett battled pretty good, and then he got a flat, and I was pretty butthurt because but, I wanted a battle, but it was good. Was it a good, clean race? Yeah, it was good. All right. So how pumped are you to come away with the second place after battling hard today, working your way up, and having a good race? I'm pumped. 
That's right. You heard it from both of them. It's a good race, clean racing, nothing but a good day. National Hare and Hound Racing. Uh, I'd like to thank Blaze Racing, Recluse, Fast Company, and my mom and dad. Who would you like to thank? Notch Peak Racing, Suspension, Off-Road, Specialist, my dad, my brother, cousin, I guess. Awesome. Good job racing today, guys. Right on. And in this race, we actually also had the junior mini riders who are also on 85s. They're just younger guys, right? Yeah. Uh, I got to catch up with Mason Matthews, who actually won that class. Here's what he had to say. All right, I'm here with Mason, the winner of the junior mini class today at the National Hare and Hound. All right, Mason, so how did it go down? Did you have a good race? Did your bike do good? Yeah, I had a good race. Uh, there was some rough sections, but it was really fun. Awesome. We totally look forward to seeing you at the rest of the rounds, killing it like you always do, man. Good job. Thank you. I would like to thank um, One Industries, FMF, Thousand Oaks, and everybody else for getting me here. Thank you. Good job, dude. Mason was followed by Hagen Boyce in second and Clayton Roberts in third. So I, uh, I want to give a big thanks to Eric Kudla here. Him and the whole Kudla family worked so hard for this youth series, and it's totally evident. You know, we had so many spectators here at the podium. Just a great day. Uh, we got Gailey's T-shirts behind me. She's selling Ray shirts. She's selling Kirk Caselli shirts, which Eric designed, I believe. And uh, we got food over here to the left. This guy makes a mean breakfast burrito. He gave me one last round. I'm definitely getting one in the morning. We're going to wrap it up because, as you can see, our podium's about to blow away. So me and Tommy Russell, the bad lieutenant, and Eric, we're going to tear this thing down, and we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.